Hello Taekwondo family, this is Billy Wu teaching in Hong Kong. Welcome to my first ever tutorial, the reverse hook kick tutorial. I'm so excited, there has been so many people asking me about this kick that I decided to just upload it on the web. I hope you have all your questions answered, if not please feel free to comment. Okay now let's break it down. First step you do in any spinning kick is to turn your head and look at the target to improve accuracy. Then your body should be facing sideways. Separate your knees apart and bend your knees that's about to kick because if you kick with your leg out straight it will be harder to control and balance. Note your knee must be pointing sideways. Also a very common mistake is that some people tend to over rotate their body thus looks like they're following their leg. Mind you not saying it's wrong or bad but it's not a reverse hook kick in Taekwondo. You need to split your upper body and lower body using your waist. This should be where all the power is generated, the spinning momentum and the use of your waist to kind of throw your leg across. Moving on, next step is to continuously face your body sideways and as you notice you cannot get your leg fully across unless you bend your body down. And make sure your body faces the floor as this will help with your balance. The second most common problem I see is that some people do not turn their body enough. This creates smaller range in your kick and you will not be able to kick across as much. By the time you finish you should have that beautiful T-shape formed with your upper body balancing the weight of your leg. Congratulations! Hey, so thank you for checking out my video. I hope it helped. If you want future updates or new tutorials, please feel free to subscribe. This was Lu Taekwon. See you next time.